All right, Wes, thank you. And now to day three of the protests, and this is one of the more heated exchanges. Demonstrators confronting police outside Centennial Olympic Park, throwing bottles and other objects. Police deploying tear gas to try to clear the streets right before the curfew began. Demonstrators could also be seen near Centennial Olympic Park, building a makeshift barrier to try to separate themselves from officers, some of them using porta potties and construction materials to build it. Police telling us late last night, a total of 64 people were arrested during the protest. No major incidents, but they remain ready for what may lie ahead this week. Similar and more violent scenes playing out all across the country. Protesters angry over the death of George Floyd while in police custody. That officer with his knee on his neck as he uttered his final breaths, his final words. Fiery demonstrations happening in at least 100 cities across the nation. Jay Gray has more on what's been happening from L.A. to New York. Hey there, Sheba. Good morning. You know, large pockets of this city are either boarded up or, as you can see behind us, burned out, including this area where George Floyd was killed exactly a week ago today. Overnight, for the first time since his death, there was a bit of calm across this community, even as across the country, the outrage seems to be intensifying right now. Overnight, waves of frustration and at times, fury. Across the country, tense confrontations between protesters and police, at times escalating out of control. This crowd in Boston burning a patrol car and at one point tossing a tear gas canister back at police. In New York, a line of officers slowly walking back hundreds of protesters. In Washington, flames raging in a park just across from the White House, looters breaking into a row of shops in Los Angeles, and in Birmingham, Alabama, a crowd turns its anger to a Confederate monument. In Minneapolis, the city that's been the flashpoint for the outrage and violence since George Floyd's death, an overwhelming show of force. Dozens of protesters refusing to empty the streets at curfew are arrested. The National Guard locking down what, for the first time in a week, are mostly quiet streets here. Though earlier, this tanker barrels into a crowd of thousands, many jumping onto and some into the cab. Somehow, no one was injured. The driver arrested. I think the incident just underscores um, still the volatile situation we have out there. A situation that has millions on edge right now. Protesters here say they will continue their peaceful demonstrations while police, sheriff's deputies, and the National Guard promise they'll keep it that way. That's the latest from here in Minneapolis. I'm Jay Gray. Sheba, back to you now. All right, Jay, thank you.